Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Assassin. Um, here you are in the Forester. It is that night, or I guess maybe we've moved on to the next day. Did you want to pick up that night, or did you want to go the next day? Um, I, after my set here, is it still, are the markets still open? Uh, no, they close down maybe an hour before the sun goes down. All right. So I'm willing to, uh, to go to the next day. Then I'll, if I can, I'm not going to force the issue, but while I'm having, you know, uh, doing some after set drinking at the mm -hmm. bar, if she's there, give her a look and a smile now and then. And again, I'm, I have Sophie up on the bar and I pet her. Yeah, it seems about when the sun goes down is when she gets up and heads out and leaves. Okay. So she's no longer staying here? Um, yeah, you know, you don't know where she's staying. I think it was a, uh, believed to be at this place, but it's nighttime and she's leaving. Um, she's leaving the Forester. All right, I'm going to stay up fairly late till they start closing things down just to see if she's off doing something and comes back or... Yeah, the, the common room will stay open pretty much all night uh, as travelers might come in late or as people might want something to eat or drink or a midnight snack or whatever. Uh, so you can stay as long as you want. Uh, how late would you like to stay? I guess um, you're, you're staying here too, so... Yeah, I'm a musician, so, you know, two in the afternoon is my 8 a.m., so I'll stay up till, say, midnight. Sure. Uh, she does not show back up. She has left and does not return. Okay, interesting. Um, I am going to go make a purchase first thing I want to get um, so I was in since I was in the marketplace did I playing for a while did I get a sense of the shops there do I know about the, um, the scribe yeah yeah there's a, a scribe shop in the marketplace mm -hmm. all right so I'm going to go ahead and make a purchase of a quill and some ink mm -hmm. and some paper. Yeah, I think you already have an ink and quill on your character sheet. Okay. Um, but you can get some paper as needed. I believe parchment is like 20 copper a sheet or so. Oh, let me double check my economics guide. Beautiful, beautiful economics guide. Paper, papyrus. Papyrus is fifty copper a sheet. Parchment is a hundred copper per sheet, and paper is two hundred copper per sheet. So papyrus is the cheapest stuff, and. Um, yeah. cheapest stuff it is all right you can get a couple of sheets of papyrus 50 copper each you already have your ink and pen and uh do as you as you need all right and let me see how good am i at picking pockets sleight of hand is not great All right. Um, what other shops do we have in here? Uh, there, there are gem or... shops, jewelers. There's a couple of weaponsmiths. There's some, um, uh, like, uh, like beer garden style places. Um, I'm looking for a leather worker. There is a leather worker nearby. If we 
want to go over uh, where is our leather worker? Ah, the leather workers are down by the river um, over here. On All right. Map. Yeah. Uh, so you can find a leather worker over here. Okay, I am going to go to a shop mm -hmm. here and. What I really am looking for is like a small leather pouch, but I'm actually going to be looking at bigger pouches. How much do they run? Let's see. Pouches. Is that on your bag? Felt pouch, cloth, 10 copper, leather, 40 copper, or a, a leather belt pouch. Um, but if you want something bigger, like a, a backpack, so your, your small leather belt pouch is 40 copper, your leather backpack is 200 copper, and then there are varying things in between. But there's also bags that come in uh, canvas and bags that come in burlap and uh, bags that just come in regular old cotton fabric. All right, I am going to pick up um, a leather pouch. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna spend some time going around between them, but I'm also going to see, and, and basically buying the more expensive leather pouch is cover to try to sleight of hand a, um, uh, a cotton pouch. Sure. With the idea that, I mean, why would I be stealing a, the much cheaper one when I'm purchasing the I, more expensive one? I have no idea why you would do that, but give me a sleight of hands roll, and we'll... Uh... Oh, dear God. <laughs> so you go to, to swipe a, a pouch when no one's... Hopefully when no one's looking and immediately uh, a kind of heavy hand rests on your shoulder, uh, kind of meaty and tough. And there's a, a voice clearing its. <clears throat> I'll look up very innocently. Yes. I think I'll get this one too. Can you put it with the other one? Of course, of course. Okay. Uh, and I think you'll pay a total of 45 for the, the the two together. Damn. All right. And I am going to... So the only other tavern is across the way. I'm going to go to the last home, and I'm going to get a, um, a room there as well. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to do this without calling too much attention to myself. Do it very low key. Sure. Uh, they sell rooms all the time. You get right. one. Mm -hmm. And how much am I spending for that? Uh, another maybe 30 for this place, 30 copper. Okay. And that is going to be where I stash my rapier and short bow. Okay. So that they're not immediately obvious. And also my uh, two daggers. Okay. So you still all have your, got, your knife next to you, though. Yeah, so all I got is the crappy knife and the sword hidden in the loot. Okay. Alright. Now I am going to go back to the tavern where I met the other um, uh, the other rogues. Mm-hmm. And same thing, I'm gonna pay attention to the conversation, try to identify another another thief here. Sure. Give me a, uh, what would be the appropriate role here? Some sort of picking up thing, some sort of, should be a charisma based role. Um, why don't you just give me a straight charisma check? 
We'll see if there's anyone here you can identify as part of your, as part of the underworld. Uh, yeah, there's no one that you can identify here today. Maybe tomorrow, maybe another day, but right now it seems pretty quiet. All right, that's unfortunate. Um, I am then gonna. That part of the plan is not working. I'm gonna go back. I am going to perform, act totally like a normal bard. Again, I've got Sophie out. Uh, I buy another fish. Sure. Uh, Sarah's here at the tavern again. She's in her same spot, looking out the window towards the the bridge and the road. Um, you get another fish from the kids. A few more copper. For that. I, I sit at the bar. I um, I feed Sophie the the fish, mm-hmm. the dish at the bar. And at some point, if um, I see her looking over at me, I give her a little, you know, like a want to come join me look. She'll shake her head and uh, continue looking out the window. Okay, I give her a smile like a your loss, and I'll mm-hmm. again pet Sophie. Okay. And so basically next day I want to try again to find another rogue. Sure. Give me another charisma check. Yeah, this time you'll find one. Uh, you'll find a... These guys are younger. Uh, much, much younger. It is a pair of girls. They're in their late teens. That Probably not even 20 yet. Uh, and... This is more of like you're, you're walking past an alleyway uh, when you see the two of them walking out. One of them has like bloodied knuckles. Um, the other one's counting out a few coins and over their shoulder you can see some other uh, slightly larger kid, maybe someone in their early 20s, uh, crawling away on the ground as if they've just been uh, mugged. Okay. I am going to try to stay out of sight. My goal is to track them. Sure. Uh, So you saw the uh, less than happy interaction between these people in this alleyway. Whoops. Um, Back over... Come on, ping, buddy. Back over here. Um, Just to the northwest of the market square. Um, All right. Yeah. So you would have been probably walking uh, like this way or that way when you saw them on that side. And they are heading down this and then out this way while their their target, their mark, is just crawling away on the ground. All right. I will quickly buy another apple. And I will casually, eating my apple, go down the... uh, uh, the path, following them at a distance, just making sure, just close enough that I can be sure to not lose them, but keeping a distance. Sure. Give me a perception check for how well you can stalk these people through the streets, and a stealth check for how well you can remain undetected. Oh, God. Oh, the rolls are not with you today. This is the problem with they a single player not. campaign. Um, all right, you definitely... I don't see them. They don't see me, apparently. Yeah, you you give them a, a little bit of a head start, and they take a turn down this road. Oops, out of the chat, can't see that. Um, they take a... They're coming down this way, and they take a turn down this road, and by the time you get to the corner or by that house, you, you can't see them anymore. They, they couldn't have gone far, um, so they must be in somewhere in one of these four buildings or these four lots of land um but you definitely don't see which one they went into (sighs) any fruit trees or anything there yes this tree right here happens to have lemons on it lemons damn it um all right it's better than nothing i'll Approach the um, the home, knock on the door, or if there's any people out in the yard there or in the little vegetable garden. Yeah, there is a uh, an older man in the vegetable garden. 
graying hair with kind of a, a balding pattern. He's got a, a hoe in one hand and a, a bag in the other, or a, a bag attached to his hip that he, he'll like move some soil, sprinkle some seeds, move some soil back, and then it looks like he's uh, plotting his, uh, sowing his furrows. Alright. I'll... Do the lemons at least look passable? I mean, hopefully these aren't shriveled, sad lemons. No, they're they're fine lemons. They're very fine lemons. All right. I am going to talk to him about um, if he'd be willing to sell any lemons. He would love to sell you some lemons. Absolutely. He'll sell you uh, five lemons for a copper. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. And I will pay for him, uh, pay for these five lemons for a copper, and I will engage him in conversation. Mm -hmm. You know, um, whatever you know, just you know about what punk kids are doing these days, and what the best way to keep them off your lawn, and you know anything just that I think he might engage with. Punk my goal. kids these days. Tell me about it. You got kids, Mister? I don't, thankfully. Ugh. Worst decision I ever made was having kids. I got this, uh, this daughter, right? Her, her name is Janet. And that kid tried to put her in school, took the money from the headmaster, said that the, the, we wanted to withdraw our tuition, somehow talked the headmaster out of it, and then took off for a few days on a spending spree throughout town. Went with her buddy down to High Castle, blew all the money, blew the whole year of tuition in a, a, about a week or so. Didn't even tell us she was going. Worried sick we were until lo and behold, she comes back reeking of wine, uh, dressed in bizarre clothes with foreign ornaments all over her. Uh, telling stories about drinking with older people in tavern. I don't look. Those cities are lawless places of hell, and uh, well, my daughter belongs to the yeah. There's a shining center of the galaxy. Those towns are farthest from it. Tell me about it. Don't have kids. I mean, do. I I've been I've been trying not to. Trust me. Okay. None that I know of. So I'll... Okay, so I... You know, I, I keep him engaged for a while, but it sounds like I've got the place. Uh, you know, keeping an eye out, see if she... If she becomes visible, you know, anywhere. Also, the other places, in case one of these other houses is the house of her friend. Um, yeah, while you're talking with the, the older guy, you can see in the building um, the one of the, the two girls, the one with the bloodied knuckles... Uh, she's rinsing them off in a, a basin. Alright. There we go. What are the... I'm going to... go to this... the last home where I was stashing my stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take one of my daggers and conceal it in uh, in my boots. Okay. I'm going to change my clothes and uh, put on just some normal clothes. Something that's got a hood, but th th that don't scream entertainer. Right, right. And once it gets dark... Oh, I'm also going to write a note... And, it's it gonna, and I'm going to do it in a very scraggly, scrawly script, and I'm going to misspell things. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to write um, tell everyone to be wary There's a new, there's a new guild trying to move in, and their enforcer is targeting us. Okay. I put that a little scrap of paper 
And it's, it's, again, I'm writing it in a very scraggly, misspelled script. And I fold that up. Tell everyone to be wary. There's a new guild trying to move in and targeting us, right? Their enforcer is targeting and us. Their enforcer is targeting us, and she's good. Yeah. All right. I'm going to wait till dark. I'm, mm -hmm. And then I'm going to return to that area, trying to do so stealthily. And I'm trying to keep an eye out for... To, to the area where you saw the teenage girls who were beating up people in the alley for their lunch money? Yes, or, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be over more... Can I ping? I uh, you can, should be able to move your token as well. All right, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to be... Is there any space between those buildings over there, or are they up against each other? Uh, those two buildings abut, unfortunately. Here, why don't we just go to the bigger map and we'll take a look at the exact level of details. Um, let me see if I can find where we are. We are over here. Yeah. Okay, what are these? What are these shops or buildings that are right next to it there? Uh, let's take a look here. Do, 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 uh, let's see, they look like storage, uh, they look like warehouses for people who sell goods in the market. Alright, the one, the U-shaped building north of it. Ah, those are the slums. Those are, like, mass housing for the, the poor in town. Perfect. Um, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, they've got the, the crummy roofs. Well, that might not be as perfect. I'm gonna. I want to go slip into the U after it's dark, and then down at the bottom of the U. Can I see enough handholds or sills or things to climb up onto the roof? Definitely. Um, so, if you want to climb on the roof, probably can do it really easily. The only question is a matter of being caught while you do it, since these are people's houses you're climbing. Um, so I'll want an athletics or acrobatics check to see how quickly you can ascend, and then a stealth check for how quietly... Oh, so you get up fast. And you get up quietly. So it, I think it's it's a matter of seconds before you ascend the, the building. Um, you find right. an old gutter and just... Doo -doo 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 -doo, rooftop. All right, and then from the rooftop, laying down on the rooftop, I'm going to watch that house, and I'm watching for one or both of the girls to come out. Sure. Um, you will spot one of the girls uh, stepping out of that house. It is the, the one with the bloody knuckles from before. Uh, you see her coming on out of the house and heading northward along the dirt road. All right. I am going to scramble down quietly, quickly. It's dark now. Hopefully I can do things uh, pretty well. I'm actually on the other side of the roof so that I don't have to run around things and I can keep an eye on her a little bit better. And I'm going to try to follow her getting closer and closer to see where she goes and not and to have less chance of losing her this time. Sure. Um, just a moment. Why can I not find the tokens that I want? They are missing. Ah, here they are. We'll use this one for her. Um, so she is heading this way, heading up, um, and then heading over kind of towards you. Where are you? You want to put yourself in a position that we can. 
Yeah, over you're here somewhere. Down here behind the tree. I, I went down some um, perfect. Yeah, so then she comes walking along this path. Um, is it dark? No one else around? It is dark. There's n- no one else around. Uh, you can. There's some people like in this slummy area over here uh, that are, but they're mostly tucked into doorways or asleep in the alleyways. Um, All right. So as she goes by there, do I get advantage? Do I get yes. sneak attack, etc.? All right. Uh, I'm yeah. Going. Try to slip out just as she goes past me. So behind her, I'm going to try to slap my hand over her mouth and stab her in the back with a backstab. All right. Well, make me a roll to hit with advantage. All right. Let's see. Dagger, dagger, dagger. 12 is all that you need to hit the uh, 19-ish year old. And uh, give me some damage there. All right, it's just a D four plus three. Yeah, and then plus, plus synth D6. plus D six. Yeah. Your dagger will slip in between her ribs and she will crumple. All right. I am gonna drag her. Let's see where somewhere where someone might stash a body and yet it be found. <sighs> it's a town. They'll find the body no matter where you, no matter what, unless you leave, drag it out All of right. town. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of stash it behind that tree there where it will get noticed but doesn't seem sure. too obvious and does she have any sort of pouch or anything she does uh it is a, a cloth pouch with 50 copper 60 silver and three gold in it all right does she have any sort of pockets or anything in her clothing yes all right i'm gonna slip the paper into the pocket mm-hmm I am... Does she have a dagger or anything? She does. She has a, a dagger tucked into her waistband, like, um, within a fold of her clothing. All right, I'm going to take her dagger, and I'm going to take the pouch. Mm-hmm. Anything remarkable about either of them? No. They're standard affairs. All right. Um... I am going to slip her dagger into the wound so that it gets so that her dagger gets bloody uh. as if it was used. Uh-huh. I'm gonna wipe it very cursorily, like on her own clothing, so so but so that I want to make sure there is still blood left on the dagger. Right. So it looks like the dagger was used to stab her, and then it was wiped off on her. And, uh-huh. yep. Yes. Then I am going to head back to my place, the last home. I'm going to stash my dagger, writing utensils, anything incriminating. I'm get, I have her pouch. I have her dagger. Mm-hmm. I've got those hidden on me. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go take those um, to my room. And I'm going to... Um, is there sort of any, I guess under the bed, I'll hide them. Sure. And mm-hmm. I will, so she's already gone. Yes. Sarah's gone, so. Sarah's gone for the night. All right, so next day, same thing, buy my fish. And okay, today's day five of 14. All you right. get yourself a fish. And I'm going to try to, except this time I'm going to try to um, be friendly with Sarah again. And I'm going to tr- do my best to kind of pick up where we left off and see if I can't win her favor and, and seduce her here. Sure. Doing a lot of, you know, we don't know what the future holds. Sure, you know, sure. I might as well. Uh, Give me a, a persuasion yeah, check. See if you can't see if she's warmed up to you with your surprisingly uh, 
connected ways. You know, you actually, you guys do have some things in common, whether she likes it or not, whether you like it or not, actually. Uh, 24 is pretty good. So when she sees you come in and give her a smile, she gives an exasperated sigh and comes over to the table and says, mm, haven't left town yet, have you? I said, well, like I said, I, I stay as long as there's something interesting and there's something interesting in town here. What is so interesting in this town? Because frankly, this is one of the more boring places I've ever been. I give her a smile and say, what indeed? You can't be serious. I, I give her a surprised look. Is it, can't I? <sighs> Listen. Jen? Jared, was it? J Jacob, listen, Jacob. Um, Say Leonardo. Whatever. You're, you're a fine chap, but you don't want to get anywhere near what's going on over here. Um, this is for your own good. Okay? Just... Just leave, just leave me be. Uh, it wouldn't, it would never work out between us, and my life is too complicated to involve anyone else. Um, I must admit, you are uh, somewhat entertaining, at least with your endless uh, persistence. But you go somewhat. I mean, I've heard better musicians on pretty much every street corner. I. You do have a cat, and that's that's pretty much all you've got going for you right now. I got, I are we forgetting that I'm not entirely uncomfortable? Yes, not entirely uncomfortable. But as I said before, my life is a little too complicated to be dealing with another human being right now. So uh, maybe in the next life. I'd rather not have to wait that long. Oh, okay, okay. It's all right, Sarah. <sighs> what do you want? Let's get it out in the open and get this done with. What, what do you want from me, huh? I, I look at Mr. well, I'm hoping for a little more affection than, than business. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. There's no time or room for affection in this world. I, it's it's all a matter of business. Um, now, if you don't mind, I have things I must do. Um, I hope not to see you again. Okay, I I look disappointed, and I'll go back to my drinking. But I'm keeping an eye on her, and she and leaves. This time, this I want time. to. She leaves immediately. She immediately leaves. All right, I am going to try to stealthily follow her. I want to know where she's going this time. And um, I am, right. actually, I am going to dash up to the room where I stashed the knife and the pouch. Mm, I'm going to mm -hmm. grab those, and I'm going to, then going to follow her. All right. Uh, give me a stealth check with advantage because you're going to be moving through busy town streets so it's going to be harder to spot you or you'll have advantage on your okay. ability to hide and while i'm up grabbing the stuff in the room as i said that the cloaks are reversible with different mm -hmm. colors i'll flip the cloak so it's no longer the same color as perfect what I was yeah. uh stealth is so with advantage 26 is fantastic uh, and you can follow her through the the town streets. Um, I'm just going to move your token after her uh, because I don't want to bother finding a token for her. Uh, okay. And she heads north and goes right through the, the market square, uh, kind of slips through a bit of the slums, making her way up this way, uh, and proceeds to just venture along the trail, leaving the, the inner bit of the town and heading north. Um, coming all the way straight up the, the, the trail out of town. 
to the north side. Um, and all the way out of town. She is bit. leaving town and entering the woods to the north. Well, that's even better for staying hidden. I'm going to follow her. I want to see where she's going. Okay. Uh, now that she's going through the woods, I'm going to ask you to make me a separate per, uh, stealth check because you've left the, the busy town where there's all the cover and now you have to you know, use a different sort of cover to, to follow along. All right. But luckily, there's plenty of trees and mm -hmm. to cover, et cetera. So let's see. Uh, 11 is all right. It's not the worst perception uh, stealth check I've ever seen in my life, but it's, it's, uh, it's, it's not so great. Let's find out. Not what I wanted right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just got to get our way through our woods to the bottom of the trail. Go. Um, so she enters this this trail and follows it northward. There are a few branching off points every now and then. Our forest music playing. Kick in in just a moment. Um, and I'm just gonna draw for you the path that she takes um, just so there's no fusion. Oh, that should be a thicker line. Go. Uh, so she'll head north along the path, not taking any of the, the weird side exits, um, and just kind of wrapping around the hill in the middle of the trail, not taking those side exits, coming back over here near to the large cliffs on the right, um, and just heads further north um, out of the forest and to a shrine, a, a small temple, um, that's north of the woods up here. It looks like a temple to Matrigal, the goddess of hope. Interesting. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll take note of that. I'll watch from a distance to see if she comes out. What, what time is this? Uh, let's see. Ooh, is this not... It's not working. Hold on. Um, maybe it's not working because there's no assassin on the bridge. Huzzah, there we go. Uh, so it is fairly early in the day, actually. Um, normally she'd be staying in the... Yeah, she seems to stay there pretty much all day, every day from what you've seen, except for Thursdays when she goes fishing. Uh, the fisherwoman who goes fishing once a week. Uh, but here she is now coming into this temple. All right. That seems like hopefully what I want to know. I am going to return back to the room at the last home. Mm -hmm. I am going to write a note. I'm going to try to do it in a different hand, uh, writing more neatly mm -hmm. and spelling things correctly. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to write Sarah, this expansion depends entirely upon you. Do what you do best. Leave none alive. Okay. And I'm going to sign it with um, I'll just put a, a letter. Uh, I'll just put an X. X. As okay. a signature. And I'm going to roll that up neatly. Okay. And I am going to go play at um, would I be able to see the place she normally watches from? If I was in the mer the Merchant's Guild, would I be able to see if she returns to the Forester? Uh, you would have a view of the road outside the Forester. So yes, okay. you'd be able to see if she returns. 
All right, I'm going to do that. Okay. You head back, um, and you play in the Merchant's Guild. And wait. Uh, it takes about an hour or so uh, before she returns. Uh, I guess, yeah, so you would both walk up there. It's a mile or so. Uh, and then you come back, and then an hour later, she returns. All right. And I take a break for lunch. I am going to head out to that temple. Mm -hmm. I'm going to approach it stealthily and keeping an eye out in case there's anyone else there or anything else going on or that shrine. Sure. Uh, you, you can head right back to the shrine. Okay. There is one. I'm approaching it very stealthily, keeping an eye on things. I'll watch it for a little bit. Yeah. It entirely. Uh, it's kind of quiet, although from the outside, if you press your ear to the door, you can hear people inside talking. It sounds like there is some sort of cleric or priest or priestess or something inside. Um, what's the word? It's not sermonizing the people. Uh, uh, preaching. preaching. Thank you. Thank you. That's that's the word I'm looking for. Preaching to the people. Although I guess we could call it sermonizing. That seems that doesn't seem quite appropriate. Proselytizing. Proselytizing. You thank you. Know. All right. Does there seem to be any sort of hostile or anything here then? No. God of Hope would have some. Um, you know what? Nothing for actually. So you can step on in. From the outside, you can't see any hostile sort of thing. I uh, don't want to step in. I don't want to be seen by anyone here. Hmm. There's I'm no signs fine. outside marking it as like a, a safe haven or as a hostile. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's not. It just means that you can't tell from the outside. All right. And around what time did she leave each day? day leave the forester she other than today she's just stayed at the forester all day long um today is the fifth day so tomorrow is thursday the day the forester is closed and she's gone fishing um, but, so basically what time tonight will she probably if she assuming she went back to the forester what hmm. time would she leave and return? she'll leave around oh. sundown all right I am going to keep an eye on this place. Well, I'm going to return maybe an hour before sundown and find a place where I can sit and watch from out in the woods here. And I'm watching for her return. Okay. Uh, the night passes and she does not come back to the temple. Um, if she is re returning home at the end of every night, she is not returning home to the temple. She's returning to somewhere else in town. Interesting. So she didn't come back here. Like she, this seems to be where she normally was going. I'm guessing. Hmm. Uh, days are passing. I thought I had this one here. Um, yeah. I guess next day as they're going by. Uh, so the next day is the sixth. Um, and what are you doing? Where are you waiting or looking or what's the, the plan? I need to find out where she was staying. Hmm. Um, I am just going to go like a normal day. Except I won't play at the Forester. I'll sleep at the Forester and go in and out of the Forester mm -hmm. in case she happens to be there. Uh, sure. So today's the one day that it's closed. And when it's closed, it's not really closed because clearly, like, there's the rooms upstairs. The inn is active, but the tavern part of the inn is closed on the on Thursdays. All right. That's fine. And she, so Sarah's not in here? Right. Right. Um you can you'll know that it's closed beforehand the, the proprietors would have told you so you can kind of wake up and figure out what you want to do early okay i might have to let this day pass because i need to find out where she's staying i saw her i did see her come here though right to where, where's here i follow i followed her to the shrine of madrigal yes you absolutely did 
that I did or didn't see her leave or what? Uh, no, you saw her go in and then you left and waited for her to leave. And then you saw her back in town later. So she has been there and she has left, although you never saw her exit the building. All right, is there something... What else can you tell me about the Shrine of Madrigal? Like outside stuff, places where something could be hidden? Sure, it seems to be an older stone building in a not a great state. Um, it's been fairly decayed. Um, it's, you know, north of town through the woods. It's got a, a little um, spiral, like a little uh, minaret on the side that looks like it has a, a viewpoint or would have bells, but you've, despite the time that you've spent there or, or the time in the town, you've never heard bells from this far north. So it's possible that, you know, if the shrine's old enough that the bells are missing, um, it, 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 it's not a really great looking temple. You know, it's definitely on its last legs. Um, there's a lot All of right. woods around it. Okay. Are there any, like, barrels or anything outside? Um, there are some rain barrels near some gutters, just in case of emergencies, in case of fires. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm assuming that cloth pouch I had. It's fairly nondescript. Like, it's not yeah. instantly recognizable. Okay. I'm going to go back. I'm going to um, write a new note. Mm -hmm. I'm going to change it slightly. It's going to say the same thing um, essentially, except it's going to say um But it's talking about expanding into the town. I'm going to say the um, so the sister, the sisters of the bells can expand. Sisters of the bells. Okay. Yes, and yeah, and have this, essentially the same note. I will toss the other note into the fire. Okay. Make sure it's good and gone with no little incriminating scraps. And. I'm gonna have to wait, I guess, until Friday. Let another day go, unless I see her around town on Thursday. But she doesn't come. Uh, no, she spends her day fishing. She said, uh, which could easily be a lie. But you do not see her in or about town. All right. You know what? I'm gonna stash this stuff. I'm gonna find a um, a distinctive hiding place. What do I find that's distinctive? Is there... Uh, in town or out in the woods? By the, the Temple of Madrigal or the Shrine of Madrigal. Uh, sure. There are ton... There, there are... It's the woods. There's plenty of distinctive places to hide. You know, there's uh, some fallen logs over in the upper left corner of the map. Um, you could hide it in the log or under the log or near the log. I'm gonna hide it inside of like the biggest log or the most distinctive log. I'm gonna hide the, the note inside a pouch. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hide the bloody dagger mm -hmm. and the pouch of coins. Perfect. And I push them in there so that they, I mean, if somebody goes looking for them, they'll find them, but they're not gonna be seen. Right, right. And then, so I'll go about my routine and on Friday, I'm gonna go play at, um, you know, do my morning set over at the Merchant's Guild. Mm -hmm. And I'm keeping an eye out for her to return to the Forester. She does return to the Forester, like she seems to do every day. All right. I'm going to, at lunchtime, go um, to where, where is, where does one find Sheriff Bronson? Uh, Sheriff Bronson has a little sheriff station. I think it is this building right over here. All right. So I am going to go there. I'm going to have a dagger. Mm hmm. And I'm going to have my loot. Mm hmm. And I'm going. Has there been any talk around in, you know, I mean, been in taverns or, you know, playing? 
of the body that was found? Yes. Uh, you've been spending many days in taverns, and that is the talk of the town. A young girl was found murdered. Uh, in a, she was just stuffed in a bush right over near the slums. And the discussion is often sort of like, oh, well, you know, what's a, what's a young woman, you know, prime of her life? doing in that part of town and you know, she had a reputation she was a, a bruiser of sorts often getting herself into trouble and you know just people gossiping about what they will and what they can um all right i'm gonna go to um into the sheriff's station here mm -hmm. and i'm looking about nervously is is the sheriff about one of the guards leans back in the chair and says sheriff bronson's busy but uh what, what's your problem citizen oh i i thought maybe i should speak to him when when is he not busy or maybe it's important tell me around uh, what's what's the deal what's the big rush this this i maybe it's nothing i don't know oh. Maybe it's speak up. Maybe, speak maybe up. It's, no, no. Come on. Look, if you want, if it's important enough to see the sheriff, tell me, and I'll, I'll make sure it gets to him. Okay. Which was the night that the um, uh, that I took out the girl? Uh, I think that was the second night, and today's the seventh day. So it's like five nights ago, four nights ago. I say this is. Uh, it's been bugging me, but. I, I mean, it's probably nothing. Don't waste my time. Okay, the, you know, there was, there was this woman at the Forester, and I'd been, I'd been trying to, you know, talk to her, talk her up, and everything, and I noticed when I was talking to her. And I'll you know say whatever night was the second night. Uh huh. She had, or, or, or sorry, the third day. I'll say. Uh huh. Uh, I noticed there was there was some blood on her belt, and she seemed she seemed kind of nervous, and she was you know she'd been really friendly, but then you know I, I asked her about with business and brought her to town and she got really abrupt and, and cut me off and said she didn't want to speak to me, which, you know, I mean, hey, maybe she did, but, but then I heard about that girl that got killed and she had, she had this, you know, and okay, I'll, I'll admit I wanted to, I was hoping to try to, you know, talk, uh -huh. talk into, you know, in, in maybe seeing, you know, because we got along and it seems like, you wanted to make friends with her. I get it. Yeah, and so, you know, I I happened to be walking the same direction she was, and I, and she went to. So I wanted to see where she was staying, and maybe you know talk to her there. And she went to the shrine of Madrigal, and before she went in, she went to this old log. And, and I don't know. It was some. She was doing something by it. I just kept thinking of that that blood that I saw on her, and then then I heard about that girl. You don't think there could be a connection, do you? Between a woman in the sh and the in the the forester, and uh... she had she had blood on her, and then that girl. The, the next day, like I said, she started acting really strange, and then I realized it was the day after that woman mm. had been killed. They might be related. I would have more questions for you about why you're following a person all the way through the woods to the Shrine of Matrigal. I, I look embarrassed, like I, I wanted to see where she was staying. Son, son, look. <clears throat> that, yeah, I, that's why I didn't want to do this. Yeah, but, I can see uh, why. Uh, that's... That's 
generally considered stalking. Uh, that's that's wildly inappropriate. But I appreciate that you have noticed something suspicious about her. Uh, I'll send. I'll go take a look over by the old log at the shrine. See if there's anything in there of interest. Uh, but really, like, come on. Don't don't get so caught up on one person. There's a, a lot of people out there. You gotta broaden your horizon. Reach for the stars. You're right. You're right. I, I'm not gonna get in trouble following her like that, am I? Only if she files a complaint. Okay. But don't do it again. All right. And I'm gonna return to now my room at the last home. Does it at least overlook the forester? It does. Excellent. And I am going to keep an eye out. I'm going to um, not be like standing in the window, but where light will shine on my face, but be inside the room further back where it's shady. And I can, but I can see out and I'm trying to watch the happenings of the forester. Sure. Uh, so you sit and wait and watch. And sure enough, after uh, a little bit of time, Sheriff Bronson and a few of his soldiers come over to the Forester. And instead of just walking in the front door like they did last time, uh, you notice that there's a guard that comes for the... Oops, where is the Forester? Here it is. Uh, there's a guard that comes for the front door and a guard that goes to the side door and another guard that goes to the back door. And they sort of surround the place ahead of time before Sheriff Bronson uh, strolls on in. Let's kind of get a... And I'm watching to see if she manages to escape. I'm watching windows. I'm looking at any place that I would use to escape the forester. Right. All right, so there's a guard that comes here, a guard that goes there, and a guard that comes around the back side. Uh, okay. and, and then... I'm ready. Oops. I'm ready to move. I'm wearing... Um, Again, different clothes that I normally do. I've got a hood. I've got a dagger. I also have... Uh, I'm just going to go with a dagger. Not, I'm not going to try to run around with a loot. That's pretty distinctive. Yeah. And I'm watching in case she gets out. Again, like I said, watching any way that seems like how I would try to escape the forest. Right. Um, I can't... Where is my... missing it's fine it's fine it's fine neil don't uh i want i can't i never was able to find the right token for him so this is going to be sheriff bronson um this red fellow right here let me bring us to the right spot whoops there we go uh okay so Sheriff Bronson takes a step in. You are in the building next door and up on a uh, maybe the second or third story. Mm -hmm. So you would have the room right here uh, and you would have a, a direct window out in this direction to see what's going on. All right, keeping an eye out, ready to sprint if I need to. Okay. Uh, so sure enough, Sheriff Bronson comes in, and you can even hear him talking, his big, booming voice just kind of echoing across the courtyard. And uh, you can't see him go up to Sarah, but you can hear him approach her and say, Hold on there, Missy. Uh, <clears throat> you're under arrest. We, we need to ask you some questions. Followed by her kind of meek voice drifting through the windows up to you. Oh, excuse me, officer. What are you? Of course not. No, that's... I haven't done anything wrong. Um, and then there's kind of a scuffle and you hear her, him saying, Cat, get her, get her, don't let her go. Um, and you can see through the windows that she is bolting up to the second floor and hopping out one of these windows right here. Like she, she comes up this stair, she comes up this staircase, comes over to here. And from your position, you can see through these windows, like, exactly like this to see the backside of her popping out this window and onto the little rooftop. All right. So I'm going to head through the, um, down to the bottom floor of the last home. Where is the door out of the last home? 
uh, that would be on the first floor. Actually, the door would be um, here, then through here. Whoops, let me show, bring a chat. Uh, here, here, and then down the stairs. So the door is actually on the second floor where you are. The door outside is on that floor? Yeah, this is the this would be the exit to the the stairway and then the stairway goes down to the first to the ground level. All right, I'm going to try to go um, around the back of the last home. Do you have a mm -hmm. marker for me here? Yeah, let's get you your assassin marker. There All you right. go. So I'm going to down the stairs around the back here to this alley so that I can keep an eye on things. And then it should be shadowy between those buildings. And I should be mm -hmm. able to see if she's on that roof. Do I see her? Is she making a break for it? Yeah, let me just clear out some of this other stuff for us for just a moment. Um, you do see her. She is making a break for it. So you get around as she's popping out the window. It's a tight squeeze. The sheriff is right behind her. Um, but these guards are have their shit together. So as she's coming and hopping off down this rooftop, she finds herself pincered between two town guards. All right, can I move closer while staying hidden? Um, sure, I mean, it's just a straight alleyway, but neither of the guards are looking at you. They're both looking at the, okay. at the woman between them. Are there any rain barrels or things in the in the alley that I can be hidden behind? Uh, I see a bush back here, but that's about it. This is a pretty sparse alleyway. Not a lot of cover. You could maybe hide in the shadow of the building pressed up against the wall. Give me a stealth check. All right. Ooh, very nice. Yeah. Um, and I think and this I've is- got my, I've got a dagger in my hand. Okay. Ready to throw if I need to. All right, well, this is the point where we're gonna have to just determine how this plays out. So let's all roll initiative and do it quickly because there's another show that needs to be going on. Yeah. Uh, basically, I was if they needed help, I was gonna try to throw a dagger in their back with from advantage with, uh, okay. and that's all I'm trying to do. If they, if they don't catch her and apprehend her for execution, then I'll help. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, would you roll initiative? You can click on your token, and in the upper left corner, there's an initiative button. All right. Uh, you go before anyone else. Would you like to intervene? Or give it a wait? I'm going to wait to see if they get her. Um, yeah. Both guards will close, and uh, since she's already drawn her weapons, they will both make attacks at her. A 15 for one of them. And a 15 for the other one, which will do seven and four damage, which is literally exactly her whole HP. Uh, so they'll just skewer her and she will die in the alley. All right. Uh, I'll stash my dagger, run up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Sheriff Bronson comes around the corner. Get out of the way, citizen. Uh, and come over I, and I, look. I'm be very startled. Uh, like, the, it's like she, you, you killed her. Can I? Is there any way I can um, palm her dagger? Uh, no. The guards and the sheriff are immediately all over the body, uh, and they, you see them pick up her dagger and look it over. And Sheriff Bronson give a long. <laughs> That's nice. Well, it looks like we found our murder victim uh, suspect. Shame that she had to die before we could get any information out of her. All right, I didn't get the dagger, but totally hands clean assassinate. Totally clean. Don't uh, even have to escape. They will take the body away. And um, I guess for your escape, you can just walk out of town. You don't even have to do anything. Yeah. Uh, easy, easy escape. Okay. So, um, congratulations on finishing your first mission, although you pulled it off by the skin of your teeth at the 11th hour. That's uh, how I do it. <laughs> that's how it gets done. 
We will be back next week with more assassinations. Um, in the meantime, Rob's character will level up. Uh, ooh, uh, Leonardo, was there anything else you wanted to do? Uh, or is Leonardo that not going to be possible? Leonardo lays a copper piece, the one from the beginning, after they move the body in the alleyway. There we at go. the spot where she fell. Nice. Uh, so you will indeed level up for this. Uh, we'll do that off stream and we'll come back next week with a fully leveled character. The other reward you were going to get would be a magic dagger. However, okay. it has fallen to the hands of the law. Uh, most mm. unfortunate. Um, it's a shame because that was a, a plus one dagger. And uh, well, now we'll just have to do without it. And that's OK. Yeah. That's OK. Um, all right. That's that for this mission. Uh, we would normally have a longer wrap up, but we are over time right now. So we're just going to run really quickly and we'll see you guys next Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific or 7 p.m. Central Europe time. Rob, any Thank last words? Watching. All right. That's it. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.